Okay, everybody. Thank you all for coming. I'm not going to use this. My name's Richard Dello Menici, and uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1961, a monster movie about a huge gorilla called Connor. And um, he's supposed to be outside the House of Parliament, but when you see the people going, ah, they're standing in front of the shops by the Croydon flyover. <laughs> Follow me in St George's Walk, please. Actually, where three different film and TV locations intersect. I know this because when we came to film American Assassin the other week on this crossroads, there was already another production happening here, which was Black Mirror. As I'm sure many of you know, that was a 1980s W. H. Smith. That was a wimpy. There's a Chelsea girl. Chelsea girl. Chelsea girl. They had some nice 1980s cars, vintage. So we shot our Turkish set film in an 89 game. But it worked quite well. You won't even notice when you see it later. Um, also, filmed here the Sally Hawkins film Made in Dagenham. The final shot, they're all riding down the road on their bicycles. Spoiler alert, I'm just going to put it like that. And you can see that's just behind us over there. They've got an old Rootmaster bus. Oh, yeah. There they go, they, they put a fake telephone box in, that's not normally there. It's beautiful. In 1970, the Equal Pay Act became law. There you go. So it's in many ways a triple threat, this junction of Croydon. It's probably one of the most dense movie locations in the borough. Follow me, we'll head through to George Walk. Tom Hanks gives a speech about religious symbols. It's supposed to be in a lecture theatre in Paris. It's not. It's the Fairfield Hall. Yay! <laughs> this is the opening sequence to Terry and June. <laughs> Terry's waiting at East Croydon Station, but June is waiting at the Fairfield Hall. So there's been a breakdown in communication. Oh, and they're both. They both think the other one's late. Oh, June. No mobiles in those days, eh? You can see the 50p building in the background. And now they're in the Whitgift Centre on the escalators. <laughs> this would be a great thing to read up, but it wouldn't be very participatory as it would only involve two people. <laughs> Again, red telephone boxes. There's one over there. Perfect. Now, we're going to take a little walk down here into the Gordon Cottage. Both buildings are involved, there's an explosion there. A lot of stuff happens in our Mark Story car park. A helicopter lands. Gary Oldman's in the helicopter. Uh, Gary Oldman's been in two Croydon films. We'll see the location of the next one later on. I thought because we're here, we could recreate very quickly. Kevin Costner comes out of the University of London. A policewoman comes up to him, points him towards an ambulance. Anna, inside that bag, is a, a policeman's hat and a luminous bib. Do you want to wear the outfit? This is Zachary, he was in American Assassin Redux. Give him a round of applause. Yay! Now we need someone with a kind of brownish coat to pretend to be Kevin Costner. I think it's probably you, madam. <laughs> brown, it's kind of brown. Let me take you both over here. This is an instant Redux moment that we're doing. They've both been briefed. I'm going to get my video camera out. And action! You need an ambulance. Can I get a paramedic? And cut, everybody! Yay! I can assure you that was uncanny. Also, the most recent Jason Bourne film was filmed here. Yeah! I don't know where, I think it was indoors, maybe in that building. Oh. It's supposed to be Berlin. Okay, let's move on to our next location. I remember when I first saw the film Velvet Goldmine, there's an opening shot of the bustling metropolis. And it said New York 1984. It wasn't New York, it was Wellesley Road. Yay! It was shot from right here. It was quite a good approximation, but for anyone that's been to Croydon, it was obviously not New York. <laughs> I've got the blimp here. About five or six minutes of the film was shot in the Wellesley Road, mainly Christian Bale walking quite slowly with some of the buildings in the background. I considered reduxing it, but again, it wasn't very interesting. It's mainly Christian Bale walking up and down. The Wellesley Road, and anyone that wishes to have their photograph taken in front of New York in 1984, <laughs> they could have matted in some skyscrapers in the background. 
It's an easy goal to change the direction of the traffic. The traffic was still moving on the left hand side. You know, I think I saw his face in a dream somewhere. The police and Bill Murray have a conversation in this very spot. Who wants to be Bill Murray when he's simply wearing a kind of whitish coat? I think it's you, sir. Round of applause for Bill Murray. Hey. 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 Come sit on this chair here. Action! It's not much of a car they've given you, though, is it? Oh, it's a piece of crap. And cut there! <laughs> 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 quite a nondescript office building, but it has an illustrious history, ladies and gentlemen. This is the JLB Credit building from the popular Channel 4 comedy, Peep Show. <laughs> <laughs> this has all been worth it for that collective noise that we just made. We can go through this car park. Yeah. Let's head off, everybody. <laughs> City General Hospital, yeah. Dark Knight Rises, Ooh. also starring Christian Bale. So that's two Christian Bale films, Velvet Goldmine, both on the Wellesley Road. And also Gary Oldman, who was in Criminal. So, see some criminals going inside the building, shooting some people. And then our hero, Joseph Gordon Levitt, uh -huh. follows with another gun. And then upstairs, Batman jumps out of a window which I think is one of those windows up there. Puts the balaclava on first. <laughs> Down he goes. So that's what happens up there. So who wants to volunteer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I suggest Razor? Should be our Batman because he was a great Michael Keaton in the remix. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I did. I'll make it up to you when I get home. Two Batman's oh, in one. Oh, oh, oh. noises, please. Oh. <laughs> That's really great. This marks the end of the Hollywood film tour. Brilliant. Thank you for coming. 13 film and movie locations. We're going to run back now to Matthew's yard. Meet me in the theatre. We're going to do a very quick premiere of American Ooh. Assassin Redux, the world premiere. Yay. I'll see you back there in about 10 minutes. Thank you so much. Yay.